Minnie introduced the original Clubman back in 2007, which doesn't sound like that long ago, but that was the same year that Apple released the original iPhone. The original model really did feel and look like the estate version of the Mini Hatch, and it was as quirky as the car on which it was based as well. Do you remember it had that third Mini door? I think it was called the Club Door, remember that? The new one is a far more adult affair and is positioned as an alternative to your standard run-of-the-mill hatchback, almost like the eccentric uncle of the One Series. This model shares the same platform, the UK L platform, as the Mini Hatch. It also shares it with the BMW 2 Series Active Tourer and some people have said that it does feel a little bit more like a BMW, but then I guess that's part of growing up. You start to turn into your parents. For starters, the new Clubman has four proper doors. And also, look how wide these doors open. There's a lot better access in and out of this new model. But it's right in the back, it's really interesting. I'll show you the club doors in just a second, but first, have a look at these rear lights. On the old model, these used to run vertically. They used to be mounted on the back pillar, but on this, they're actually mounted on these barn doors. And the horizontal, what that does is make the car appear visually lower and wider. But what you're really going to be interested in is this little button here. Push it, one opens, it can do the same round this side. And in case you were wondering, no, if your kids do try and shut that one first, it won't shut. It's always this side first and done. They will never tire of that. Part of this grown-up process is physical. This car is a full 29 centimetres longer. It's also 11 centimetres wider than the car it replaces. Now, that space and growth is most evident in here. Now, kids all love it because it's full of lovely details. But the other interesting fact is because this car is bigger, the dashboard in the Clubman is bespoke to this model. I get the feeling that this car is going to be loved by families. Kids are going to love the space that you get in here. They'll also love all of the quirky little details. And mums and dads, there's good news for you as well, because although this car is bigger and it has got a little bit heavier by about 200 kilograms, there are new engines and gearboxes, which means it should be cheaper and more economical to run. You've got four engine choices with the new Clubman, two petrols and two diesels. Both diesels are essentially the same two litre turbocharged diesel units, except for they're in different states of tune. One has got 150 brake horsepower, the other 190. There is also two petrols. The first is a three cylinder 1.5 litre turbocharged unit. It's a fizzy little engine with 136 brake horsepower. The other one, the one that we've got here in the Mini Cooper S, is a two litre turbocharged unit. It's a full fat unit with 190 brake horsepower. Now, all of these engines can be had with two different gearboxes. You've got a six speed manual or the eight speed automatic, which is what we've got today. Now, the automatic is interesting. It's a new automatic gearbox and the first four gears are designed to get the car going. They're short ratios, so you can climb through the gears and the speed very quickly. The last four gears are geared far higher. So when you're on the motorway or cruising at higher speeds, you don't need to rev the engine quite as high. That means that you can deliver better fuel economy and therefore cheaper to run. Mini is no longer just about the size of the car. It's a statement. It's a bold statement. It says that you like attention to detail. You like to be different. And I'd argue that this, the Clubman, is one of the boldest cars in the Mini range to date. It's a proper grown up family car, but it hasn't lost any of the fun and quirkiness that gave it its original spirit. And if you think about it, it's not just cars that have got bigger over the last seven years. 